thank you again for watching this video episode number 10 of Bill W. Rocks. Now, these rocks that I'll be showing, I'm going to show 22 rocks that will bring me up to 100. Rocks all documented, tested, all passing for meteorites. Now, I believe all these rocks are probably from the same area. As I tested them, they all have the same density. They're one of the most dense rocks that I have. They are up there be around the 3, 9, and 4 for density. They all have trace fusion crust, snakeskin texture. A lot of them have cleavage on a side or so. In a rock, that means that two sides have 90 degrees between the two sides. They all have one side a similarity is that of an old china pattern and you see in this one here you see the blackness through it that would be trace fusion crust and on that side is what I'm talking about that one it's almost worn away but it's showing gold below what is there which is a lot better than a new to earth meteorite which is going to look like a chunk of coal boring The small squares as it's, uh, are showing age. On the opposite side is a rougher texture that shows more of a gold. How's that? Uh, a lot of the gold has darkened down now that it is exposed to sunlight and the air, showing they are old with the brownish color. Uh, that the gold's turning into it's showing that it's beyond its iron content and beyond its magnetism the holes again show age the holes are left after elements within the rock dissipates to a point it's an empty hole age it makes me wonder about the class that is magnetic it is a small spot that is magnetic it looks like a little silver dot but after it dissipates, now is it going to leave it a little hole or a void? Because what, where it's at now, it's almost to the surface of the of the rock, so it's going to dissipate and then leave everything. So again, okay, thank you for hanging in. Let's have a look at these rocks. They are very very nice. As I say, they're the most dense of the rocks that I got. So let's have a look at number 79. Is it 79? Has a dry weight of 994 grams. An immersed weight 253 grams for a density of 3.92. Nice, very dense rock. You can see it. Just gold shining right through it, eh? Really nice. Alright, here's the turtle. That was the turtle. I call this her. Alright. Number 80 begins showing with the fusion crust on the top. Limit it. Get a crack. Flow lines. This all would have been blown, worn away with the heat, leaving this part still there. And that's one of the things, when I was first looking at the rocks, they uh, showed that little horn. And I re referred to that like a, like a uh, saddle horn off a saddle. And this, I see a lot of them, and I noticed them. So number 80 has a dry weight of 429 grams and a immersed weight of 107 grams for a density of 4.009. Again, the, few, the trace fusion crust, cracks, flow lines, snakeskin texture, and that would have been just nice shining gold. Right. Number 80, again, 81, sorry, 81, again showing the limited fusion crust, flow lines again, gold what was showing through it. Number 81 
has a dry weight of 1,035 grams, has an immersed weight of 254 grams for a density of 4.074. See, they are the densest. They all, and then when you flip it over, look what's left. Would have been just beautiful. I don't know if we, some way maybe you can uh, bring that back to a gold state or what? Okay, 82. 82. Has a dry weight of 387 grams. An immersed weight of 90, 98 grams for a density of 3.948. And you just see the starting one of those little humps. A look on this side. And that's something. Nice. Just gleaming. And that's starting down. I don't know if I said the specs on that or not. Well, we'll say them again. Dry weight, 387. Immerse weight, 98. Density 3.948. Not a beautiful rock. And again, all the you see the similarities that they all have. Number 83. 83 is 176 grams. Immersed weight of 43 grams for a density of 4.093. Again, all the on one side, not the gold on the other. Yeah. Nice. Number 84, and you see it, they're all the same on the one side. The only difference is how big they are. So this one's 458 grams, just over a pound. It has an immersed weight, 114 grams, for a density of 4.017. As you, the gold wears away, it'll start showing gold underneath. And uh, that would have been just shining gold. As, as they all were. They're a special rock. I'd like to know more about them. 85. 85. I don't think I said the specs on that one either, did I? 84. As. Oh no, I did say it. Yep, yeah, okay. 458. Eighty-five again, all kinds of nice little flow lines. Those little mounds, the blackness for the china pattern. It has a dry weight of two hundred and seventy-five grams, an immersed weight of seventy-one grams, for a density of three point eight seven three. Another very really nice rock. And you see the gold going through the inside, and again on that side it would have been just gleaming. 86. It's got some nice gleam on that side too. 86 has a dry weight of 439 grams, just shy of a pound. An immersed weight of 114 and a density of 3.850. So again, all right up in there like 39 and 4. The gold showing through here nice and nice one. this side. Just glowing. Yeah. Now it's going with 87. <coughs> Has a dry weight of 313 grams, immersed weight of 81, and a density of 3.864. And again, this is the side that has the black fusion crest showing gold going through. And look at the gold inside. Huh? What about that? Nice. That's something. Wow. Have you ever seen a rock like that? I doubt it. 
Very nice. Eighty-seven, three hundred and thirteen grams. Immersion weight of eighty-one, and a density of three point eight six four. Some nice rocks. Eighty-eight. is 255 grams it has an immersed weight of 66 grams for a density of 3.863 almost another 3.9 but you can see the gold look at the gold down through it now watch and look it over look at this mostly a pink gold mostly a pink gold yellow and pink I think it comes from yellow a little bit of copper in it. Yeah. 255 grams, 66 for an immersion, density 3.863. And that was number 88. 89, the last one in this one. This is my little piece of stone heads, as I said. It has a dry weight, 468 grams. An immersed weight of 117 grams and a density of four. And this one, on this side, and you flip it over, it kind of looks like the one of the Stonehenge rocks with the forehead and the eyes, the head. Flip it around, give it a little more angle to it. Just uh, like that, eh? A nice rock. Beautiful. Let's just leave that there. You watch that in the talking. So, I want to thank you again for watching episode 10 of Bill W. Rocks. I hope you find these are interesting. My next video, we will look at. Uh, rocks 90 to 100 That's 100 rocks tested and documented all passing for as I believe to be ancient meteorites So until next video have a great day Thank you for watching